Virgo. This is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. My name is Michelle. And for those of you who know that because you're returning, God bless you. And thank you so much for supporting the channel the way that you do. For you guys especially, I have a special announcement at the end of the video. Right before we go to the extended, there's always an extended reading, Virgo, and I hope that you'll join me for it. I'll put the link at the end of this video so you can click right on and get right to it. It's also always in the description box right at the top, and I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. I hope to see you there. Virgo, this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. It's an energy reading, so I'm going to explain energy to you and you take it how it resonates in your life, because above all, this is your reading. If you love the reading, please be sure to like the reading. Give it a thumbs up. Show me that you like it and subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. And if you love my content, then I also have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation where I go live five days a week, every single weekday. I do a general tarot card reading as we live chat, interact, and do a, a daily astrology summary. That's also where I upload the weekly astrology forecast and different shorts and clips. So, hope to see you there. Um, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. There is a lot happening. Why? Because Mercury, your ruling dignitary, is conjunct Pluto for the next week. And it also, I think it's on Saturday, Mercury goes into, ships in ships from uh, Capricorn to Aquarius. Now, first let's talk about the Pluto conjunction, okay? Because this is really dynamic. And it's going to, and I think generally for you guys, it's going to make you very powerful speakers. And it'll, it'll take you to the point where, I mean, you guys like to investigate and explore and dig down deep into PI stuff private investigator stuff anyway but this is gonna like superpower if you find yourself on the internet like <laughs> rabbit holes that's you that's what's gonna happen you can't help it mercury is your ruling dignitary and it's conjunct pluto you'll find some stuff out this time around and it could be game changing this is the time when you're gonna have deep conversations conversations that just go on for hours about deep feelings maybe even maybe even bringing up stuff from the depths without you even like it could surprise you it could definitely change everything the stuff that you find down there fyi now um in the house of virgo there's really nothing going on there's really not much going on but Your natal sun is going to have some, is going to be aspected to some very important things. So let's get into it. If your natal sun is at or around 23 degrees Virgo, it is going to be in direct opposition to the Venus. I have my little book here. That's what I'm reading. Oh yeah, I got to write it down. I got to write, because I can't remember it. Um, it's going to be in direct opposition to the Venus Neptune conjunction, which means there's a lot of distractibility going on, especially with love and romance and relationships. There could even be like cheating going on, right? Like just, just stuff that surprises you and catches you off guard. You could be caught off guard in a good way too, though. Like this could just, I'm just saying it could, it could really surprise you. So um, Venus conjunct Neptune is just so dreamy and so out, out there that it distracts you. So when it comes to romance, romantic relationships, and money, you could just get swept away and then next week not have rent, rent, rent money. You know what I'm saying? It's that kind of energy. So be very, very careful because that opposition is going to make it very difficult for you to, even you who keeps a hold on everything, it's going to be, you're going to be easily sideswiped. If your son is at or around 23 degrees, degrees, not the date, but degrees of Virgo. And if you don't know what that is, just check your natal chart. And it, on the side of every single one of your planets, it'll tell you what degrees of the zodiac sign that um, that yet your sun is. It'll tell you right there on every natal chart, and you can get those for free. Just Google free natal chart. It, it, you'll find it. Um, now, if your natal sun is between 10 and 20 degrees, so mid-Virgos, Virgos that are, that are at the middle of the month, middle of the season, it is directly square um to mars and gemini so that will challenge you 
getting things done will be a challenge getting papers written getting paperwork completed there'll be some other file that you didn't file or you know missed or or somebody didn't tell you that you even had to do it it's that kind of stuff but because because it's a square what it'll do is it'll challenge you it'll it'll you'll learn from it so next time around you'll be an expert on the process that kept throwing curveballs at you now you'll be like able to hit the curveball you'll be an expert right but it's going to be a pain in the you know what as you're going through it um and then i gotta say i think in in terms of i gotta say that's that's pretty much it major me i i said major social conscientiousness okay so let's talk about mercury going into aquarius that's what i wanted to say Mercury going into Aquarius, I think is a lot more compatible. It's it's an air sign and it's it's very social. So it, when Mercury first drops, when it first changes those energies in the first, say, five degrees of the new zodiac sign is when it's going to be most intense and when you're going to notice the change. So by Saturday, I think you'll be noticing. I think it's Saturday, right? Um, I think you'll be noticing. It's either Saturday or Monday. That all of a sudden there's this huge drop. There's this huge shift in your sensibilities especially with regards to social conscientiousness so this mercury in um aquarius is talking to many people being very social maybe even making new friends definitely public speaking right and even learning and going to school and learning from others and then really 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 even going down that rabbit hole because in the first few days that mercury is still conjunct pluto you might be going down rabbit holes and conspiracy theories with different Different kinds of social issues so that's the kind of impact it would have on you let's move on to the cards and I gotta say it's looking good yeah dude that's the only card that came out wishes and dreams fulfilled now I would not have pegged that for based on the astrology but based on the astrology the astrology is not bad but it kind of, you know, it could be troublesome and challenging. You better call your friend Taurus. Call your friend Taurus. Pick up the phone. Because now Virgo is naturally trying to Taurus, right? These are like the happiest cards. Look at that. I'm going to show them to you one by one. But look at that. What is going on? Ooh. Ooh. We got, we got, listen. I know you guys don't like to change. I know you don't like it, but there's something here. Uh, it's, it, let me say this. Opportunity that's so good, even you can't find a problem with it. Let's go through it. Wishes fulfilled. Something that something that emo emotionally, emotionally, it really fills you up. It, you really care about this. And you've hoped for it and you've prayed for it. And here it is. This is going to give you a great deal of happiness. And when I say opportunity, it's because something is being offered to you. And this is this is almost like uh, maybe maybe many different offers are coming in, or there's more money or a pay raise that's coming in. You know, this could also be a sense of an idealistic mindset that is trying to open up opportunities and being very altruistic or philanthropic. Philanthropic is not the same as altruism right philanthropic is a little bit more self-motivated for tax cuts but it's still like giving to others and feeling like you're so full this is the energy of being so full you could you could be the one opening opportunities or giving to other people but the way i first read it was this is a huge opportunity that is extremely fulfilling that's coming into you and i mean it's because you've wanted it for so long you're not going to say no to it why do I know? Because because this woman showed up. Hello. This is you sitting pretty on your throne. This is it. This is divine feminine energy. So you just got an offer that really puts you at the top. And this is also Major Arcana. So this is good news. She's saying you can trust this offer. You can feel the solidness, you can feel the integrity, you could feel the rightness, and you could feel the fate that is all wrapped up in this opportunity. Like it's been given to you because that's, 
that's the direction you're supposed to go in. Now, yeah, for a lot of you, this is going to be with work because there is pentacles here, but there's cups too. So this is very, very fulfilling, and I think it's it's a smart decision. How do I know it's a smart decision? Queen of Swords. And she's coming out a little bit in the future. So she's telling me, because she's my GPS, my, for me, personal, like my personal style, she's my GPS card. So she's got her sights set on where? She's got her sights set on the future. That's what she's got her sights set on. Like she's not, she's not looking back. She is like, I am, I am navigating my way forward because it makes sense. So this means that logic goes right around with practicality, goes right along with faith, goes right around with emotional fulfillment, fulfillment. All of this is all going together. All of it is like it's being set up and the road has been paved for you. This could be, if this is a, like a person in your life, somebody, a counselor or somebody whose opinion you really trust because they're intelligent, they're sharp, they're objective. So being really objective, even being really objective, this looks really good. This is also saying you are going to be plotting or strategizing a way forward here. So you know this is an exceptional opportunity. And... Even though swords in the tarot deck represent air signs, you are ruled by Mercury. So when it, it could also be Virgo too. Swords could also stand for you as well. Because there's a practicality to, to intellect. And you see this. You see it. So there's something about your future in this opportunity. Ooh, okay. What kind of opportunity is this? I think it's got to do something with money. And if you're worried about transferring somewhere, you're gonna get you're gonna get approved. You'll get the transfer. It's not gonna, it's, not, it's like not even gonna be a problem. Um, this is a good day to ask. This is a, a good way to ask for what you want. Knight of Pentacles is a job. It's employment. It's working for somebody else. It's being employed. It, people trust you. You're responsible. They know that you're reliable. Um, this is definitely new work. Um, it's also a sense of I I don't think it's about moving slowly. I think it's about you are offered many new jobs many new opportunities are opening up for you so that you can move maybe you'll be moving for work or maybe you're not moving physically you're just moving up right so let's get some insight moon in moon wisdom surrender to the divine trust in god so your faith is going to be exceptionally important this week right this is full moon now we're probably talking about the full moon coming up and have faith in your dreams so this is a time stamp that's why the, god wants us to focus on time right now we had that leo full moon right that was just past this past weekend in a week and a half two weeks we have a new moon that's coming up when the sun goes into pisces that's not far from now it's uh, it's not it's just not far from now it's at the beginning of february where when pisces season starts i mean i'm sorry it's at the end of february when pisces season starts so sometime in the next two weeks these changes and these decisions and these plans are going to be made do i know what part of your life it's going to be impacting no because honestly i think this is this is this is going to be something different for all of you but let's see a little bit more about the direction that Virgo is headed where is this Queen of Swords pointing them and maybe who is this Queen of Swords I think that there was stress or worry or concern about not having enough creative freedom or always having to to follow somebody else or pick up something from somebody else or or never being in control of your own schedule or your own life because we have the queen of wands who absolutely is creative energy and she's a creative thinker and she has control of her own creativity she she sort of is an entrepreneur in a way she's also a star like right i think maybe you were worried about people not noticing you or people maybe worried about people seeing you and being being too seen and being too evident or not feeling attractive enough or not feeling pretty enough or maybe this is a competitor that you were worried about right or that that it wouldn't you know so i don't know and then we have the hermit energy so deciding to be alone you know deciding to go it alone becoming introverted this is you you are kind were kind of worried or had some sort of concern when it came to really standing out or maybe being really appealing or 
I don't know if it meant too much responsibility. I don't know what it was. Eight of Swords is here. This is about being left behind or being abandoned. Um, and then we have the Hierophant. So it could be that somebody's deciding to leave a marriage or leave their loved one behind, or that even if you're not deciding to leave them, you're worried because there has to be separation. And if this is your spouse, and this is an oppor like who, for whoever this is, this is an opportunity that they can't refuse, but there still seems to be some stress and concern because there's separation here or being worried about going it on your own or having to spend time on your own or that somebody's been too concerned about their work or their job this is definitely you though um the page of pentacles is here just this is a new start this is a new beginning if nothing's gonna stop you from this but i gotta say it's it's kind of like there it is not without its complications it is not without its complications nope okay okay but okay so what why is this hierophant all wonky it's not because it's it's not traditional a cycle is coming to an end like whatever has already been a st oh that's why that's why because it's because because of because of the security that comes with knowing where your next six months is going to be you know it's the, it's the security of, of that comes with roots you know, this is, this is a sense of, you know that you're going to have to leave behind comfort and the routine and the things that you're certain of. Not for stupid reasons. You're not, you're not sitting here taking a risk, really, but it's, it's worrisome and it's causing stress because of all the considerations that have to go into kind of packing up a life and starting over somewhere else wherever this means for you let me know in the comments below i love to know how this is playing out in your life um page of pentacles what do you mean by this i gotta say you admire it it's like the, if you you guys wouldn't decide to change easily right so this was this was an opportunity that you were waiting and even though even if it's an entry level opportunity or it's just a new beginning or a new start is definitely worth it's definitely worth taking the risk for and I, I, it's not just from my personal opinion like that's the cards the cards are saying it's definitely worth taking it's at all of this there's no past so it's like that doesn't matter there's no past here this is all the future think of the future think of the future and it, and look at how happy she is she's just sitting up there that's my golden girls cards blanche she's just sitting up there oh i can't i can't this is so precious this is the best see what happens when you just step outside your comfort zone just a little oh this is a tower oh stop we're gonna get into it but this is current so the tower will happen this week what is the tower oh somebody is being deceptive or stealing from you or betraying you somebody thought you were looking you were looking the other way and they just sideswiped you how though oh flag on the play flag on the play hold up hold up that's why you ended up single that's why you ended up on your own that's why you ended up going out on your own and it's almost like that kind of sweet in the pot because there was like this tower moment that revealed that somebody was like pulling out the rug from underneath you or taking resources and I think what that did was solidify your sense of I'm competent I'm correct I'm right you know I'm not I'm not I, like it's almost like it made you realize I gotta get out of here let's see what the tower was maybe we can get some answers with that I'll tell you this right now if this is about relationships if this is if this is resonating with relationships you're out of here you're done you're gonna be single or 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 maybe you're considering it why why what is this tower what, what is this tower what is this tower it comes right back around to nine of pentacles isn't that weird 
it's almost like at the worst time in your life, the best thing ever happened. Or it's a change that surprises people. And your actions or your decision shocks the crap out of them. Because they're like, oh, no, no, we can depend on Virgo. Virgo's going to be here for years. Virgo, 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 Virgo. No. You're going to shock somebody. And you know why? That's Mercury conjunct Pluto. Ruthlessness. That's extremism that you are not normally known for. Let's go to the extended. Link is down below and as well, it's somewhere up, up top. Special announcement. You remember back in December, guys? When I said that I was going to have a live event, but I didn't have any specifics? Well, now I do. I have officially picked a date and I'm signing the contract this weekend. It is going to be on May 3rd, 2023, this year, May 3rd in Austin, Texas. It's a Saturday and the event is probably between two and five. It's a three hour long event that I am organizing so that we don't just get to meet each other, we get to make memories with each other and we get to share an experience with each other. And that experience is a sound bath, meditation and vibrational cleansing. I can't wait for you to experience this. There are three musicians that are coming that are exceptional musicians and exceptional leaders and guides through this journey of healing. It doesn't take any physical strain. And honestly, guys, I'm just so happy to be able to share that moment with you. And then afterward, we will be able to speak and meet and greet and eat because I'll have food there for you to pick on snacks treats bite-sized little little uh, food so it's gonna be good because you know I love my food and we'll have a little drink some champagne to toast the um, the the success of the channel because it's all because I reached that 100k milestone and I can't wait to have you there the cost $110 per ticket if you want to show up live I also have a virtual option which is going to be $30 to get virtual access to the sound bath now live it is absolutely an extraordinary experience but you're gonna have to act quick because it is very limited because of fire rules and regulations there's only certain many certain many people allowed so you got to act quick on that one if you're gonna be in town if you want to fly in you're not just coming to see me come to see me for three hours Austin Texas is a great place to live I'm happier here than I've ever been in my life so you're really gonna be experiencing and getting an opportunity to just tour around a great city as well that's got a fantastic spiritual community so as soon as I get the landing page all figured out I will share the I will share the poster and the link and you'll be able to go online and schedule everything I love you guys and I will see you in the extended